What's up, fam? Welcome to another adventure with your boy Omar. I got my fiance Tiffany here with me, and we decided to do a little mini road trip. Now, on our way back home, we decided to do something different instead of taking the interstate back. A lot of people don't know this, but you could turn off highways on your navigation trip, and we did just that. It added a couple more hours to our trip, but that's okay. We, you found another bone? Okay, so we were driving over this bridge and we noticed this abandoned train tunnel and we started doing a little bit more research on it. I did find one article where it says that phantom trains have been known to occupy the tunnel. While we were walking down to the tunnel, Tiffany noticed these bones and that's what we just seen back there. She said that she just saw some more bones. Oh, there's some right here, look. Yeah, look. Where? We don't know if these bones are human bones. We're definitely calling. The police it it could have been a, a deer. So what? It's like we need to make sure. Trying to find like a skull or something. Maybe those were pieces of whatever body. Oh, some more bones. I wish I knew what homemade human bones look like. Look, right on your foot, there's. Oh my god. Yeah. There's bones everywhere. It's really weird. It was so noisy out there, and you go in here and it's complete silence. Clearly, people have been in here before because there's graffiti everywhere. I just found some evidence of vandalism right there. Is it open? Oh no, I'm too scared to get close to it. Alright, I'm gonna go. If you hear a train, run! Okay, it's just a wall. Oh, you can see daylight. I think we should, yeah. Even if they're just an animal, at least we're being safe. That's when they can check it out. I feel like that's how bodies are usually found. You know, when you hear on the news, it's like these two hikers while hiking in the morning found what seemed to be human remains. I mean, that's what we're doing. We're hiking. This is a hiking trail. Are we supposed to be back here? I didn't see any no trespassing signs. We stopped almost. Like, you can't, whoever. Yeah, there's no more graffiti. We stopped going this far. Could you imagine going through here in a, in a train? Like, this is cool. It's a little bit of graffiti. I've never been in a train tunnel before. An abandoned one at that. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, is there somebody down there? I don't know. It sounds like footsteps. It's like a wind tunnel. Hello? What I heard online was they used to put trash in these tunnels, like from the railroad, and I don't see much trash. I mean, do you see any? You could tell the railroad hasn't been used in a long time. So every time I, I was reading up on it, I was before we came in here, uh -huh. I just kept thinking about Monopoly. Monopoly? Yeah, yeah the B&O like Ra Ra Railroad? I've heard of like Phantom Car. train that has been heard I did find an article on that and it was really hard to find like anything I was like you know what I'm just gonna go explore it for ourselves now as soon as we leave here we're gonna call the authorities and just in case I mean that could be animal bones but we just want to be safe I mean what if somebody's missing a loved one mm -hmm. and that's their their only hope to have some closure mm -hmm. sad that's really sad Place would be ultra creepy at nighttime. Ultra creepy. We probably wouldn't have made it that way. Dude, an upside down cross. What the heck?
I'll turn off the lights, just in case. Oh, what's over here? Wait. Oh, gosh. That was trippy. I thought there, it looked like there was an opening. What is this? What does that in there? A body? This is the only spot in the middle of the tunnel where there's like... Well, it's just putting rocks, like, you know, because they were putting rocks for the, the railroad, and this is just left over. Oh my God. I mean, no one really comes back here, so the chances of finding a body in the first place. Yeah. kids playing over here now there is an active railroad track adjacent to this track but they don't they don't use this track anymore you could you can clearly see how it looks I'm not sure the last time this track was used yo listen like a train's coming. I don't know if that's an active wire. Oh, it just got super windy. Oh! I really hope it's not coming through here. You hear it? Tracks are abandoned. Wait, it's gone. Wait, what? You heard that, right? Oh, okay. Maybe it might come out on this track. There it goes. That's a little train. Wow, it sounded like it was coming through here. So Tiffany has a cousin that is a doctor and she sent pictures of those bones to her and gonna see if maybe we should call the authorities or not. It's crazy that we didn't even see a train. Here's like, so much train. That's just a car. Wonder where those doorways led to. I mean, obviously outside. Oh, that makes sense. Or if a train broke down in here. Oh look, that's electricity for lights. See, actually, you can see the old light bulbs. This would be lit up at nighttime, I guess. More graffiti. I don't see any more bones. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh my gosh. What if that body was hit by a train? You know how people commit suicide on railroad tracks? Yo, that just... That just hit me right now. I knew a family that lost someone to suicide on a railroad track. It was a young kid. We were just somewhere not long ago where we talked about uh, a lot of suicides on this one particular railroad track right by an old prison that was haunted. I'm telling you, if there's a body here, I mean, I don't think anybody dumped a body. I mean, maybe. I think it was from a suicide. Because the active railroad is right next door. How long do bones like stay like without completely like is it possible that those bones were from when this railroad track was active which i'm not sure how long ago it stopped being at maybe they didn't see it maybe it was late at night and maybe it was in the middle of like the train cars i don't know so oh yeah her cousin uh, the doctor responded and, and she said that it's hard to tell what those bones are so should we collect them and put them in a box and take them not to okay good idea
so this is where the bones, like a good middle part of where the bones fell from. I think it's going to be a little bit further down over there, but it is coming from up this way. Yeah. See if I see like a skull. Or something. Careful. What do you see? Oh, look at this cool rock. <laughs> nice. I guess this route would have been a lot easier for you to walk up, huh? Yeah, I didn't realize that. I'm not seeing anything else. Yeah, I kind of combed the area here. I mean, I guess I can do a double check. This is that really cool stone. So her doctor cousin said that that looked like a thigh bone. The bones that we found down there. That totally looks like a thigh bone. Well, those are deer bones? Mm-hmm. That kind of looks like it could be a deer, right? I really hope it's a deer. Good old Google. Who is selling deer bone parts on eBay? Somebody's selling deer bones on eBay? We did see that. That's like maybe the knee. Yeah, it was just really thin though, the one that we've seen. It could, oh, if it was a baby. I don't, I don't want to waste the police's time, but. I also, I mean, it, it. I'm sure they would probably prefer us to waste their time on something like that other than not. Yeah, that's kind of thin. I don't know. Then here's the other ones that we found. I think it could be a deer. Hey, these are like. These are little Maybe baby. like a possum or something. Yeah. Let's see right there. Ooh. <laughs> those teeth or are those ribs? I think they're ribs. They're not ribs, that's fine. There's a pelvis. Right there. Alright fam, we just found some more bones. Over here there's another um like a maybe like a leg bone. And that looks like a pelvis. Look how big. A part is. of a pelvis. I mean I'm no expert, but kind of weird that dude was like coming towards us over here and as soon as he seen me he like went the other way it's like he seen you he's about to kidnap you or something get dropped, <laughs> about to get punched in the throat Seriously. whoa now that's cool look at that screw my gosh so no more bones over here tiffany's over there calling the police i'll give you an update on that this is kind of a small town and a lot of i mean we've seen already a few people come real close to the tunnel i mean there's some people underneath the bridge right now if somebody has called the police for those bones being there they it, it's probably already been investigated and they'll probably give us an update on that so we're gonna find out right now i hope it's a deer or something else i really hope it's not human remains but you know just to be safe on the safe side Tiffany's on the phone with the police right now, trying to give them our, our exact location. That way they can find the the remains a little easier. Don't want to take any chances. I mean, but I don't know. Just want to be safe. So what did they say? They said they're going to send somebody out. And if they have any other questions, they'll call me. So no one reported in these parts any bones or anything. I mean, people come in and out of here. Yeah. Yeah, she just said that. She was like, and you said you don't know if it's an animal? or if it's human and I was like nope tried googling it but they all kind of look the same <laughs> <laughs> that was so hard I'm like if you're from here how do you not know what I'm talking about I know about? you kept telling them God. well they want to pinpoint the exact location I mean I was, she bones. was like are you at a pavilion or are you in a parking lot and I'm like I'm in a parking lot and she was like so are you on Clay Street or Commerce Street and I'm like I'm in the park that's on the corner of that and then <laughs> I can come out of that and take a couple steps and be on 15. And she's like, okay, so... They just want to make sure they find exactly where it's Yeah, at. and she's like, are you along the the river? And I'm like... Oh, Do you want to wait till the, yeah, to the police get, yeah. get here? That way we can show. You want to go over there and get some them from the deli? There's a deli over there. Yeah, a deli on the rocks. How long is it going to take for the police to come out over here, though? Probably not long. Small town. Yeah. When it comes to road tripping, one thing that Tiffany and I like to do is instead of going to, like you know chains or franchises I mean that's easy you have that in your backyard you have all those same restaurants there why not hit up new places family owned places and support like the local economy too this place is cool it's called Delhi on the rocks and this is the kind of food they have it looks yummy and it's really affordable too we're gonna get some from here is there some on the back too what we're right across the street from where the police should probably be parking to check it out and we'll go and assist them i'm just hoping that we're okay because they might be like hey you guys weren't supposed to be back here anyways those are deer bones and now we're gonna arrest you no they're not there was people all back there we're not from here 
There was no no trespassing signs. It's on a park. True. There were a lot of people. I mean, we we've seen a couple people walking around. Where, where are you going now? Did you go ahead and roll out or no? Oh no, we're across the street at the deli on the rocks, like waiting for our food. <laughs> yeah. I can um I can run across the street really quick if you like and meet you over there. Yep. Okay. Yep. We'll be right. We'll be right here. Stand by the cruiser. So. Okay. All right. No problem. I'm coming. They do seem a little bit concerned with the first set of bones we found. So they're back there still investigating. You could see, I can't zoom in. But they sent, I don't know, like five cop cars. No, I'm exaggerating. There's three cop cars, including the park ranger. What do you say you said? I ain't never seen said, anything like this. Yeah, I was like, we don't know if it's animals or if it's a human. We just didn't want to risk it. And he was like, yeah, he was like, honestly, I've never seen anything like this. So they've never had any calls ever over here for any of that. So this is like his first time seeing it, so. Think about how many people have gone through here and they completely missed those bones. Oh no, I think we did the right thing. Gonna go ahead and conclude this video. You can see there, there's the, there's the police cars. Um, and they're, they're still down there. There was like two or three cops getting out of each vehicle. Yeah. Anyways, they're gonna be calling up Tiffany. They said regardless and giving us an update so oh no we'll see gotta go for now before we leave